This tutorial will show you how to add an inspection agreement to your report. HomePet gives you the ability to easily add an inspection agreement to each inspection. The first step is to add in a new category for the inspection agreement. Go to Tools, Add Category. We do not want to copy an existing category, so select No. Type in the category name of Inspection Agreement. And make sure to uncheck the box for use line numbers and readings in the printed report, since we do not need them in our Inspection Agreement category. And then click OK. Next, decide where you want your inspection agreement to appear in your report. This is most commonly inserted at the beginning of the report, so we're going to select Insert at Top, and then click OK. You can see that the inspection agreement category is at the top, and when you click on it, you'll see that it's blank. This is because all we have done is added in an empty category. Now we need to add in the inspection agreement component. To add in the inspection agreement component, go to Tools, and then Add a Component. Scroll down the Add Component list until you see the inspection agreement. Click on Inspection Agreement, and then click OK. As you can see, the Inspection Agreement component has been added. The first few lines are where the program is going to automatically pull some of the key informa information from the General Information category, such as the client name, address, and some property information. Next, we have a spot where you can insert your inspection agreement. Click on the note piece. The first thing that you'll want to do is clear out the text that is already in there. Next, you'll want to add in your own text. You can do that either by typing it up Or if you have it electronically, you can copy it from another document and then paste it in here. Once you have the agreement how you want it, press OK. Finally, we have a spot where your client can sign and then date the agreement. This works really well, especially on a touchscreen computer such as a tablet or PDA, because your client can sign it with a stylus, just like they would a regular piece of paper. Now that the inspection agreement is added, let's take a look at it in the report. We'll go to File, and then Print Preview. You can see that we have the inspection agreement added in after the table of contents. You can set it up so that an inspection agreement is always there when you start a new inspection with a template. For more information on creating templates, see the tutorial titled, Creating Your Own Template. This concludes the Adding an Inspection Agreement tutorial.